planning our video for the song Hardest of Hearts by Florence and the Machine, we wanted to give it a mysterious and different feel to a typical alternative pop video. Leading up to the shooting our video, we researched into the genre and tried to fit into its conventions. In the video, the music and visuals and lyrics and visuals were contrasting to the creator's sense of disturbance as it was uncomfortable for the viewer. This helped sell the artist as they appeared creepy and mysterious so people would want more. Uh, one of these was intertextuality, where the video featured images of other artists in a subtle way. For example, um, the hat and the mask were mimicking Michael Jackson. This also fitted in with our genre and achieved the effect we wanted. The concept we were trying to create was that the artist was mysterious and also almost anonymous. And we show, so we tried to make the audience of the products want to know more about the artist. We achieved this through the use of lighting and to make the artist look quirky and at the same time we used the mask to make them seem anonymous and creepy. Um, this meant that the image of the artist was easy to create as it was almost like a character in a horror film. And they were successful at attracting the target audience as the creepy horror film type label of the artist made our target audience interested in what the artist was about. Also the confusing element made the narrative sophisticated and this would appeal to hardcore fans. Within the video we meet two new people which later on become masked, however this is the same person throughout. This suggests the element of mental instability uh, linking back to the sinister edge that we were looking for. Uh, whilst filming we tried to keep a clear narrative, however we are aware that at some point it may become confusing to some viewers, but we don't see that as a negative, as it makes the viewer think more about the video and the story behind it. After filming and editing our video into a final product, we created some ancillary products. This involved a digipack and magazine advert. When making these products, we considered our theme, but ended up making the products move more particular to the single rather than the album. This helped us to develop our artists by making different images that are unique to them. They still linked well and just made the products look more exciting. At first we did use images that were from the video, but after feedback we decided to go for a new look and ended up creating a better final project. We have learned a lot from um, audience feedback since the pitch. It has been very mixed so we could strengthen our products. The feedback from the pitch was mainly positive as it was quite detailed and we could build up a stronger character bio and our good and Goodwin's points were well planned um, so we had a good base to create the music video from. What we learned from this was that it is important to plan well before the products are created. Negative feedback was that it looked very hard to achieve what we had planned. Um, what we learned from this is that we should set aims which are not too complicated to achieve. The quality of our video fell as a result of this. Um, more ne negative feedback was that there could have been a wider range of shots um, and that the narrative was a bit confusing. What we learned from this was that we could have meant spent more time planning um, in more shots and made a more clearer story. Feedback on our rough cut was generally positive as the visuals were creepy and matched the music. They were good uses of lighting, editing and our extreme shots were good. The masks added to the mystery of the song and overall it was unique and creative. What we learned from this is that it was important to be creative and extreme as this made the products more unique. a lot of new media technology to construct, research and plan our products. A blogger was a very good blog to use for research and to look back or to see how to improve the video. A final cut was used to construct the video which was very helpful as we could organise our clips and add colour effects and transitions to it. At first final cut was hard to get to grips with and difficult to create the vision we had for our video. After experimenting with different techniques and visuals, Final Cut became very helpful and gave a professional look to our video. Uh, one part especially of Final Cut um, was very useful for our editing process, and that was the effects that we could use, such as colour correcting, uh, shot layering and cross dissolving, 
which were used as cuts in certain scenes and many more. Shot layering was an idea we came up with in the research section of our project as it linked back to the overall theme of mental instability. It looks really effective and we continue to use it numerous times in the video. Uh, the HD cameras were useful as we could create good professional shots and the still cameras were helpful as we could manipulate our surroundings to take creepy yet interesting shots which we used in our research. We also used many websites which helped us with our research on music videos and on our audience we would target. The websites we used were YouTube, MySpace, Enemy and other magazine websites. We also gained inspiration from watching films such as Saw which uses masks as a focal point for the audience. Um, overall the technology helped us create a successful product as it was professional, reliable and with enough time we could fully learn how to use all the technology efficiently. A final cut did hinder us as it was hard to layer but once this was mastered it didn't trouble us. As a group we are very pleased with the end result as it achieved what we had originally planned and we think it sends out the message that we wanted. Also from evaluating and comparing professional examples we believe our music video looks sophisticated and professional. Uh,